All right. Now, let's say that we have, um, we added quite a few other menus here, but not all users should see all the menus. So we need to make a distinction between them. So I went ahead and I, so I created a couple more here and also I created uh, another you know, user type. So I added that to the user. Now he has a type. I created a couple of, um, of users here and each one of them with a different type, right? That's another thing, nice use of option sets is that you can um, have a, like a drop down to, to select here. You know, this is probably the type of data that you're gonna use a lot. So this is a great use of option sets. You know, put them as the kind of user type. All right, so now I have those, uh, those user types. How can I show this based on, on that, right? I could probably add another attribute here and say, uh, you know, admin, yes, no, and, and so on. What I, but that gets a bit complicated and I, I like a, a kind of a simpler idea is just to add a set of navigation items, right? And this one here, you can add an attribute and this one is going to be navs and it's going to be a list of navs, right? And then here we can have member and admin. And then we can add all the navigation things that we want to see. Not the greatest uh, interface here, but we can do something like this. Uh, dashboard, uh, this is the first one. So also you're gonna, as you add them, it's gonna add them in order. So this goes under it. What should go under that? Let's say, you know, definitely users, I want to see subscriptions. Okay, and maybe the ships or rentals is the, the last one. And I'm even gonna see spaceships also. Right, so this is the full menu here. And then on the members, we're going to just give this person a dashboard. The spaceships and then their rentals. Okay, so it's a bit more constrained. Right, so we have this setup. How do we display it here? So this is uh, quite simple. So let's access the floating nav bar. And uh, we go in here and the type of content is still nav, but what we're going to do here is get an option. And this option is going to be the nav set. And uh, what we're going to do is, let's say that the default is going to be the member and navs. Okay. And then we can put a condition in there. So when current user type is admin, the data source is going to be different. So it's going to be um, get an option nav set admin. All names. All right, so let me uh, log in here with a, this is the member, so log in there. All right, so we have only three options here. I don't have all the matching uh, groups here, so rental doesn't, doesn't have anything right now. But you can see, you can have all three of them. Uh, only three of them. So let me go to the admin. <clears throat> and now this shows the full list. So this is a great way for you to distinguish between the two different types of, uh, of users you have. You don't have to add anything, fiddle around here. It's just, you know, kind of all done uh, systematically using the, the nav sets. Um, you know, and, you know, let's say that you say, okay, spaceships actually should be my second one. This is a bit of the, the hairy part of it all. So let's say this, uh, I'm going to make myself very difficult here. So admin, right now, I don't like spaceships being the last one. I want it to be the second one. So that's for now. So what I actually have to do is to, okay, remove you know, all of them or do the other way around. And then you can start adding them back in um, one at a time. So this is the, the Kind of the one painful part of it all is that if you, um, you know, if you want to reshuffle them, it's uh, it's doing that way, which is not the most pleasant. But it's a a little minus point that I, a minus point that I can live with, right? So now we have it reorganized here as you uh, prefer.